Hello everybody, welcome back to some more NASCAR Heat 4, we're returning back to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Championship with the 34 Michael McDowell, I'm JVC1103, and it's time for Las Vegas, I qualified 6, but like Atlanta, someone in front of us is going to the back. So, enough talking, let's get to the race. Third stop of 24, and it's been quite interesting. <laughs> back to back top fives, not complaining. We're still a legitimate threat, even though, well, it's been ex very interesting these last two races. Let's see what Las Vegas would do for us. Well, here we're going to have to do a one stop. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay. We are where we want to be right now, in the front, but we want to draft just enough to save so we can make it on one stop. As much as I want to pass Kurt, I need to save. Got to put it in the long game here. Let's be consistent. Be conservative as much as possible. We can pass him in the second half after the pit stop. That's what I'm talking about right there. This is the sound, don't drift too high. what you want to do. Oh, we just got to run right there. Oh, we got to run this time. Gonna have to take it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are starting to act up. Well, we're currently at this point in time, March, so wouldn't be surprised that my allergies start acting up now. Like I said, playing the long game. Las Vegas has not been kind to us. So leaving out here with another top five would be very appreciated. Call 
Oh, Ryan Priest is going to take the risk. Who was he? No, he ain't the only one that's going to take the risk. It's just too early to do this. They're going to run out. But when they get here, they ain't going to have enough. Alright, so they caution that kind of bought us an extra three laps. Question is, will we be able to get to lap 20 now? Because that's going to be the big thing, making it to lap 20. And being up front will not help that. Uh, looks like Denny got second. Looking to go two for two, maybe? But not if Kurt Busch is going to have anything to say about that. They are really going at it. I may just have to risk it and just go for it. Saving the corners and not hit the apron. Let's not do what we did last time out. If you didn't watch that race in Atlanta. Ooh, that was close. That was a little bit too much with the back end stepping out right there. Guys, that's a recent decent lead. Alright, kept it off the wall. That's all that matters to me right now. Got to go another about six laps, and then the real battle begins. We're definitely showing our weight right now. The question with those full drivers who did pit, where are we going to be to them? Because they can go, they may can go an extra three to five laps. It's going to be super close. If they, if they can go the five laps, that means they can make it. The problem is with the get we got right now, we may just be in the cuff. We may be just on the cuff, be, be able to stay in the lead lap. And we have definitely le left Kurt. I wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna pick. Oh yeah, we definitely got tires. I gotta really stop thinking about NASCAR Heat 2 and 3. Because, yeah. Tire wear in, the, in those two games are just... <laughs> here, I think we can kind of make it. Especially with that caution. Yeah, we're definitely giving Kurt a little out and goodbye bye. Bye, Corey. Bye, Corey. That's 
think that's a team, ain't it? Yep. Ooh. I think people are trying to save the ties at this point. <laughs> And we got pit stops. We need it to stay green. We need it to stay green for this entire run. We're definitely putting the lap in on the field right now. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, this is when that this is when pitting on that car is going to be coming a an advantage. All right, we made it. We just barely made it. I'm gonna try to go one more lap. That way, that would. Uh, I can't. I can't do one more lap. You're going too bad. <sighs> All right. The good news is, at least we made it. Question is, is it gonna be good enough to come out still in the lead lap? Let's find out. And we finally made it to a, pit, to a green flag pit stop in this championship. Strict yellows, everyone. And it's actually working out that we can have a green flag pit stop. Oh, we a lap down. No, we are not. That is good. That is very good. All right, they are. They have not pitted yet. And if everyone in front of us, they're gonna be on the tear end of the lead lap. Well, that's Cody where we're going to pass for position. All right, that one was for position. That's good. These guys, on the other hand, they don't need to get passed by me because that would mean they're going to be a lap town. And I think running tricks is for position. All right, so two. All right, so. At least three of those guys move for positions. And I think Montreal Jr. is about to pit. He's either going to be in this lap or within the next three laps. But anywho, we're in the top five. So we'll be very consistent. Who is second? That's the question. No! Oh, it's Ryan Freeze. And he is eight seconds up the road. Hello, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan Berlini. I will be on my way. We are gaining. We are gaining. Two seconds of lap. If you keep that up, we're on them. And they're pitting. Let that go. There they're both pitting. 
question is how far are they gonna be behind because that would mean the other two hat are gonna come in yep here they come I shouldn't say two there was three other drivers and there's Kurt Ah, oh, this strike may get him to put a lap down. Ah, uh, that's gonna be bad. And it was Truex coming off. He may got fresher tires. Oh, I'm for size, and I'm on the right side. I do not want to risk it. So, out of all of those five drivers, only Mark Truex Jr. was able to stay on the lead lap. That has to be quite concerning for the rest of them. Hall the a mechanical. Ooh, that's not good. And Cody Ware's pitch strategy has gone for not. Alrighty. When we come to the line, it's five to go. Just want to keep it easy and we got this. Lap traffic is being a pain though. Oh, that was a position. Uh oh. Mon Trix has made it back to the top 10. But he's the last car in the lead lap. And this lap traffic is fierce right now. Buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go. Oh! Almost did it again. Okay, I think I should just call it a day and just win the race. <laughs> oh man. That little group kind of. Got the air lifted off me. Oh! Someone else blew up. Uh, uh, I can't really tell what that is with all the smoke. I know I should have and get fresher tires, but I won't. Was that Denny who blew up though? That's the question. Anyway, here we go. Let's go. If we didn't have overtime, that would have caught that would have been the race. But I don't mind. Fans want to see a green flag finish? They're going to get one. And we've been the best call all day. All right, let's go. White flag. Just got to bring her home. And we got this. <coughs> Excuse me. Some drivers make pitch strategy, and it kind of worked out. Can those fresher tires from Montreal help them at least get a top five? But for us, 
It's our first win of the championship. Yes. All right. Gotta hit the water. <laughs> Burn her down, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo. Gotta like wins like that, baby. Gotta love them. <laughs> and it did help. <laughs> Look at what the first time did for Boy George. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, man. Okay. But, yeah. Denny Hams are blowing up. Hmm. That was kind of weird. All right, but you gotta feel for Kevin Harvick. But at the three races, <laughs> all three makes has got a win, and we have taken the point lead by eight points. But we still got. 21 races left. And that, well, only Ryan Truex is still on single digits. But that will change after the next race, hopefully. But in victory lane would be us, Michael McDowell, and the Love's front row team. Got the fast lap. <laughs> Undisputedly let the most laps. I'm guessing Kyle Busch was the one who had the engine, had the mechanical problems in qualifying, but he ended up getting the top 10 out of it. Kyle Busch being Kyle Busch. Well, that's going to do it for this video, everybody. I'm JVC1103. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I post video game content between Mondays through Fridays. And I hope to see you all soon for more gameplay content. But until next time, everybody, be safe and later.